We are on level two now, spring 2011. The first questions are pretty easy, so follow these directions and use the letters to put them here. Now beginning with A, it says, go up two times. In other words, they're going to almost do two octaves, if you know what that is in music. So here starts A, your answers are B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and finishes G. Using the whole notes, now you get a chance to spell words. They want you to use uh, only whole notes. And be sure that you write your whole note above the letter so it's spaced out, like just like you see music in your book. And when you make a nice whole note, be sure you fill the space, top, top line to the bottom line. There's F, A is above it, and C is above it. I'm using a darker pen so you can see, and E, I'm filling the space, all notes looking about the same size. And you'll continue, either on lines and spaces, they're all whole notes, so no problem. Now, you're going to put the name these notes, but they are in the bass clef, so always notice that. So check your chart once again. It's over here, unless you know your lines and spaces by memory. G, B, D, F. So that is F, capital letter. Remember that. Spaces are A, C, E, G. A, C, G. So that's an A. Put in A and finish that line of notes. Now on the back of this page, we're going to have more stems. So we're in the treble clef, and they want a dotted half note. Now I put some notes up here to show you again the stem rule. Any place you want to put your notes, starting there on E or F or G or A or even B, the stems can go, uh, are going up, definitely going up. So I want you to do a dotted half note on the low side and a dotted half note on the high side so that you get practice. Here's B with the stem going down. Notice it can go either way, but if we're going to do higher than B or give me a stem coming down, that's where you're going to put it, either on D or E or F. Stems down, the letter looks like a P. Please check your work. If you put it on this side, it looks like a Q and it doesn't look right. Okay, So here you're going to do whole notes so you don't have to worry about stems. And here you're going to do half notes. But you can still give me two examples. Uh, oh no, I apologize, that's quarter note. So definitely you'll have stems there. Okay. Uh, now you have to write the number of beats. Again, we're in 4-4 four, four time. Review. How much is a quarter note? One beat. How much is a half no uh, note? Two beats. A dotted half is three. Remember, one, two, three, and whole note or whole rest, there's a whole rest, equals four. So here's a whole note, four beats, a half rest, two beats, dotted half is three beats, a whole rest, four beats, quarter rest, one beat, quarter note, one beat. When you're watching this video, uh, you don't need to have your book. I don't want you to write any answers, but you can talk along with me and make sure you understand it. We're going to draw bar lines over here, and we need to have four beats in every measure. Remember, four, four time. Top number, how many beats in a measure? Bottom four means that the quarter note gets one beat. Here's one beat, so you're going to write one. Here's another quarter note. That's your second beat in that measure. Uh, here's three, four, and we want bar lines, so actually you don't have to write the numbers. Just be able to count them. One, two, three, four, bar line. One, two, three, four, bar line, and then hold. Now here's where we're going to write the counts. So here's where you write one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So be sure you put the three right under the dot. Four. One, two is a half rest. Three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, we'll go to the next page. Actually, the next page is uh, page three of level two. All right. Now we're going to do seconds and thirds again. 
Now we haven't 